Race six, the play tab online.co.za Cape B Stakes was uh, over the 1600 meters and won by number four, Veronica Mar. So well done to um, P. Lefasani. He receives his thousand rand from Hollywood Bet. So thank you to them and Cape Racing. The jockey board and very much informed today is Grant Fanique. Grant, well done. Yeah, thanks. Must be my mom's breakfast. She made me this morning. I'm, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll be one of. I'll be well aware. Of, she'll make me aware of that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I need to. Uh, she obviously needs to tell my girlfriend what to make me in the morning. <laughs> but I'm just so glad um, we're having a good day. And obviously to to the snakes for allowing me to ride her. Um, you know, at the just after the line, Mune says to me, um, "Sorry, boy, you have to settle for second on this one." So I said, "I think it's quite close." <laughs> we had a good laugh when the results came up. But um, you know, it's uh, not nice when it goes. Um, you know, when it doesn't go your way. But um, you know, that's racing. Grant, it, it makes, look, for us watching, it's nerve wracking, but is it quite exciting when you've had that close finish and it goes in your favour? Yeah, uh, you know, I, uh, I thought if it's not a dead heat, uh, obviously I won it. Um, I felt my Phillies head go down at the right time, and obviously with the outside angle, um, it favours the outside angle. Um, and uh, when you're also quickening with, uh, and you have momentum on your side, and you're in a tight finish on the outside, especially in Cape Town, at 95% uh, go your way. So um, I'm just glad it went my way this time, and obviously to the Snates, thank you. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, that's uh, Grant van uh, paying his success to his uh, the breakfast his mother made him this morning. So you might have to ask Grant's mother to make him breakfast every day. <laughs> he said that was the key to his success today. Listen, there were a couple of surprises. He was early at work today as well. So whatever was in the breakfast, is you're right. I would like to get hold of it. Um, just really well done to Richard Edmondson. He's been so... Um, patient with her and uh, she's going to be heading off to stud. There was a race in the Eastern Cape who we'll decide later, um, more than like the move to Polly or something. So it might be actually a fitting way to end her career to let it happen now. Um, just really well done to him. She's a, off a 90, I thought she was always a, a, a very well uh, rated. I think what she's done in her career, off 90, she was always going to be a filly who's going to run a big race here. And uh, Grant just riding a, a monster race there in the, in the finish. So really well done to him. Alex Crawford as well, uh, involved, um, you know, really well done, guys. Chevelli stud. I love this family. We, we had the mayor, Urs Orbit, and... Uh, this, this filly's going to go to stud, and I've just got a feeling that something's going to come out, and uh, I'm hoping, I'm sure, uh, looking forward to training some of her progeny in the future. It's always lovely that, having the families that then carry through the generations, especially when they, they end up being so full of heart and, and, well, ability like this filly. When I started training, I always heard trainers say, oh, I trained the mother, and I'm thinking, one day when I'm older, I'm going to be saying the same thing. At least you've said that, not nobody else. Correct. So like Star Express, I mean, she's had some super horses. And uh, um, I think it's a big part of our racing that, um, you know, the horses go as drug free as possible and produce top horses. That's the whole idea. And that's why I like to think that we get supported by some of the big stud farms, that uh, the whole idea is the after race, um, you know, going to stud and producing champions. So let's hope that she can do the same. It is indeed important. Thanks, Justin. Well done. Great. Thank you very much. There you go. Thank you very much to uh, Justin Snaith, the trainer of number four, Veronica Mars, the daughter of Legislate. Well done to Chevrolet Stud for breeding. And as Justin said, it's wonderful to keep these uh, families through the, the training ranks and generations to come. And uh, MJ is standing by with uh, Corne Ofo, who was aboard My Flower Fate, possibly uh, quite an unlucky filly in relation to the start. Yeah, thanks, Vicky. If Justin eventually finished. Kunai Ofo has come and joined me. Kunai Mafla fight got left a little bit, ended up in a good position, but she was a bit unlucky not to be a bit closer. Yeah, I think uh, definitely sh she definitely should run third. The first and second horse came together and I had to just ease out of it and, and, and get a clear run. And uh, I think that cost her the third place. Um, she was a little bit agitated in the gates today. She she got left a little bit, but she always comes from off the pace. And, uh, you know, she's a fully that's just growing into herself nicely now. She's big, so... Um, she's probably looking for a little bit further now. She made up nice ground and uh, yeah, she's a, she's, she's a decent filly. Only four starts and she's won twice obviously and, and fourth now and uh, she's definitely a filly to follow for the season coming up. I definitely think so. You know, she's a filly that can run from a mile upwards towards 2002 I think she's a very simple filly to ride in the race. She switches off easy so definitely a filly to follow through the season. Kone, thanks very much. Kone Ofe is having some good form here at Durnville, so maybe want to follow. My flower fate, she was a bit stiff. I'm sure she won't take long to win again. We're going to the replay of race six at Hollywood Pitch, Durnville.